Uh, Adam, big three points here in Doncaster. How does that feel? Yeah, uh, brilliant result, uh, especially after after Saturday against Barrow. We were disappointed with that, so it was it was big for us to, to come and get a good result against a team that are, are up there with us. I think they're two points, were two points behind us before it started. So to come to their home ground and win um, is really good. And the way that we did it, I think we, we had full control of the game really um, and stepped on the gas a little bit in the in the second half and managed to get the goal. Uh, buzzing, all lads are buzzing, um, <clears throat> especially after last week, you know, didn't go the way we wanted, so better come in and, you know, get the win and we've done that. Yeah, I feel good, I thought it was a great performance by the lads, we definitely put in a good shift and hopefully we can keep the winning ways. After the disappointing result last week, I'm calling the defeat tomorrow just a blip and we're back to where we should be now. Yeah, definitely, I think that's, that's a one-off game, like, we, never, we should never lose a game like that. But, as we said, we've turned it around today and we're looking to push on and get the motion. Money back on the pitch today for the first time since July and against the team who, of course, you, you were injured against. Uh, how good of a feeling is it to be back out there today? It's amazing, you know? It's amazing. I think it's more a feeling of getting the three points, you know, that, that made everything a lot better. So, I mean, it felt great personally, physically and to be with the boys, to get that three points today and to be back playing, doing what I love, it's amazing, yeah. It's a great feeling. I was involved in the, in the game um, when, when it happened, so it was a, it was a horrible a horrible thing to happen and, and obviously it's, it's come full circle and he's managed to, to come on again, against Doncaster again um, and, and to get through, was it seven months? Um, obviously to get through that as a, as a footballer, not being able to play is, is tough, but he's He's a bright light in the dressing room, he's, he's very vocal, he's loud, he's funny and he deserves to, to get back on the pitch and we need him. Uh, he's, a, he's a really good player, the more good players the group's got the better. So that's that's like a new signing for us going into the last 15-16 games. You know, he's a great lad to have around the change room, you know, he's a great, he's a great player and um, obviously he's had a, a long slog of getting back to fitness and everyone's absolutely over the moon for him. Oh, brilliant man, he's obviously a very big player for us to get him fit and back on the pitch for us. And you've just hit 20 goals for the season as well. Uh, you, you must be delighted with that. Oh, plus and I. Um, yeah. Just need to continue, hopefully continue scoring and who knows what I hit this year. And uh, talk us through that celebration as well. What was the sort of meaning behind that one? Uh, no, it's not too far, right? People said to do three with, so I just... For me, for the you know what I mean? Again, you know, putting it on me. Um, no, but you know what? I got in front of the old fans there. I'm so desperate to jump over the, you know, the barrier. Out. But I thought, no, nah, don't do it. Don't it, not get a yellow card. But I'm desperate to jump in. And uh, you mentioned that away support. It was class. absolutely deafening oh, at the end. Yeah, it was class from from minute one. As soon, you know, as soon as we, as soon as we come out, see, look at the pitch. There was fans in clapping us in that. It was brilliant. Like, uh, can't let like you say I can't knock the spot again. Brilliant. Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, can't ask for a better set of fans. I've, I've only experienced them league-wise five minutes at the start of the season, five minutes now, and it was tremendous. I mean, I'm grateful to every single one of them, and just thank God that I'm able to be back doing what I love, and thanks, thanks a lot for, to them for that, yeah. Brilliant. I was just saying in the, in the, in the showers there to the lads, was, that's a Premier League away day. You, you don't get better than that in, in, in football, sort of, just no matter where you go. Probably better today because they're, they're right on top of you. If, you. if you get four fouls at Newcastle, you're up in the gods or however it is. So yeah, to, it was a Premier League uh, travelling support. Oh, definitely, what a feeling. The numbers they, they travelled in today was brilliant. All we could hear was them throughout the game, and hopefully we can keep them coming to more games. And uh, you were talking to us a little bit at the training ground the other day about what your plans are for your first goal celebration. Can you can you give us a bit of a sort of indication of what that might be? No. I'll wait till then, and, but most importantly, as long as we keep winning, playing, get, I need to get my head down, get into the team, you know, show that I'm part of it and start scoring and do what I need to do till then, yeah, so, yeah. And obviously another game on Tuesday away at Gillingham, are you looking to get more minutes in there, are you looking forward to Yeah, that? yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that one, it's a club that I've been at before, you know, so just going to go back there, get the three points, continue our objective, which is the end of the season, be where we want to be and, I feel like we can do that, yeah.